Sir, the public sectors are considered to be the temples of economy. Why are you so much concerned? Sir, I'll tell you two examples. I think, yes, within my uh, uh, time, so I, I, I have confined to myself. There are two things that have not come to limelight. One is Videocon. Videocon is a well-known company which has become bankrupt. But it has borrowed rupees. Please, honorable members, honorable members. I'm talking about your government. Okay. I'm talking about your government. Please. They don't bother, sir, whatever we speak. They don't take parliament into serious consideration. Very well, sir. They don't, they don't listen yeah, to yeah, us. They don't yeah, bother yeah, what yeah, we yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah. This is the first ever experience in all these two decades' experience. A party who doesn't bother about the parliament and the debates and the... Serious. Though I don't understand India, I'm listening to the translation and listen what they speak. Please, please, confine to the subject. How many disciples? No, please go ahead. Sir, it has borrowed rupees 65,000 crore to the tune of 65,000 crore from various banks. So when it has become bankrupt, there is no other go than to sell that organization and give it to the banks. Sir, the issue went to NCLT, National Company Law Tribunal, and it has adjudicated the case. In what manner? It has decided and uh, uh, said that it is, can be sold to a twin sort technology, something. It can something. be? Sir? It can be? NCLT. Yes, yes. To be sold to, an, to a certain company. If what I can tell the name, this Twin Star Technologies, which is a subsidiary company of uh, some other Vedanta or something. That is not the concern. You know for how much? 3,000 crore. It is 65,000 crore of loans to the banks, but the NCLT has said that it can be sold to 3,000 rupees. Who is the sufferer? The banks. If the banks suffer, either the bank, the government should go to the rescue or the people will, ultimately they will be paying for it. Then the banks appeal for it, NCLTA, Appellate Authority, and it is withheld. This is one thing. It is about a private organization, but the sufferers are the bank. Sir, another is CEL. Central Electronics Limited. Sir, very, very important one, sir. Yeah. And uh, it earns a profit of 730 crore per year. This organization, CEL, earns a profit of 730 crore per year. And it has orders for more than 1,500 crore. And it has been sold to a private company, sir, for just 250 crore. Yeah. Yeah. It has an infrastructure, it has an asset of more than 440 crore. It pays a dividend a profit to the government 700 crore. And it has orders also, not that like some other uh, uh, organization, PSU, that they suffer because of orders. They have orders for 1,500. Why should it be sold? That to at this rate, just for 250 crore, sir. And the uh, company which bought has nothing to do with the electronics. That is a strange thing. It is only an interior decorated company who doesn't know electronics. Sir, kindly enlighten us. Let the government tell us. You are selling, you are coming to the rescue of a private organization and the banks are the sufferers. And now you are selling a profit making public sector organization to a I don't want to say the, at a cost, which is not at all acceptable. So they are victimizing. Sir, let me conclude by one small interesting incident. There is a college, sir. There is? A college hostel. Hmm? Where in the canteen, every day, every day, Upma is being served, sir. Upma. The students. Cabinet minister. No, cabinet minister. Good, good. Yes, Mr. Shiva, conclude. conclude. We are used to this, Mr. Jai. We are please, used to all this. Please conclude. Sir, no, you have to, sir. You have to protect us. The cabinet minister must be here.
some cabinet minister. Leave alone. Uh, sir, in a college hostel, listen, Derek. Yes, tell us about Uppa, Uppa. Every day, every day, Uppa is being served. Sir, the students get agitated. They raise a hue and cry. Mm -hmm. They say, we don't want Uppa. That, that, and all. So the warden finds no other option. He says, no, okay, I'll get your views. I'll conduct, you vote for what you want. And sir, that is very, very interesting, sir. I, and yes, everyone must be interested. Ah, because I should be perfect in the statistics. <laughs> the voting was counted, sir. 7% of the students have voted for bread and omelette. 13% have voted for puri. 18% for alu paratha. 19% for masala dosa. 20% for idli. 23% for upma. Again upma. That is, that is, sir, 2019. Because all the students were not united. Different opinions, <coughs> again Uma came to the canteen, sir. Sir, 24, sir, 24, sir, our leader, Mr. Stalin, is spearheading. We have all joined here and discussed. All the students will come together, sir, and Uma will be out of the canteen. <laughs> the only thing is, <laughs> we have to come together, and we are coming together. Sir, enough of what we had from your side. What we suffered because of demonetization, how you deprived the states of their rights and took the GST, I have suffered, sir, one minute, sir, just one minute. The people and the states, how federalism has been affected, all your laws, either draconian or anti-federal, anti-secular and anti-minorities. Enough of the apprehensions the linguistic and the religious minorities had in this country. When you are spending thousands of crores to enrich a language or to revive a language which is spoken or known only to a few thousand, that is Sanskrit, but you are victimizing classical languages, Tamil and other languages. Enough of everything. <coughs> Sir, 2024 will give a verdict. The franchise will be the, again, the situation that will change and it would be federalistic, protecting the secularism and upholding the constitutional values. The countdown of this government has started. Thank you very much.